morning. So today I want to go over my cook system and my food storage for my 2019 PCT journey. Um, so I'm just going to go over what I have here. So I'll be posting some videos on uh, the different systems within my, my total pack. And then by next week I should have my tent and sleeping bag in and the rest of the things that I've ordered and I will do a final uh, gear review of all my gear. Right now I have my pack weight at about 14 pounds and uh, in the Sierras where I have to carry some extra snow gear and the bear canister it's going to be about 18 pounds. Alright so let's just get into it. Okay so I have my uh, Tokes 750 milliliter cooking pot. This is about 3.6 ounces. This will just be for it to heat up my water uh, for my my meals and for my coffee. And then I made a cozy to go for my cooking pot. I just made this yesterday. Went and picked up some Refluctix from the hardware store along with some foil tape. Uh, and this will just sit right over my pot. This fits right over my pot like that. This will be to um, help cut down on the um, how much fuel I need to use to cook my food. Uh, once I get the water boiling, I'll just put uh, the food inside of it, put it inside the cozy and let it finish cooking inside the pot. And this weighs one, I think one, one ounce is all the reflectance weighs, so yeah. And then I also made a cozy uh, for my dehydrated meals. And uh, as you can see here is just a bag of mashed potatoes fits in here. Um, but definitely like a mount, mountain house meal, any other dehydrated, de dehydrated meals. And uh, uh, like the Nora rice mixes will all fit in here. Uh, this again will help cut down on the cooking time and just keep my food hotter um, while I eat it. I also, one of the reasons I decided to make this too is I'm still working on um, a recipe on uh, cooking a pizza out on the trail and uh, the seven inch pizza crust that I found fits inside here so I'm trying to figure out a way to kind of heat it up. I'll probably put it in some uh, foil sheet um, and then stick it in this bag to help melt the cheese and, and just heat everything up so I'm not eating a, a cold pizza. So I am gonna also get some uh, Velcro uh, pieces to be able to, to seal this up. So I still need to go get those. All right, and this weighed, uh, I believe this one was 1.2 ounces and this cozy was one ounce. So all together, uh, 2.2 ounces. And then I just have my, my little sponge, which weighs nothing. It's like a quarter of a sponge I cut out for cooking with my MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I think most of you are familiar with this. Uh, pretty lightweight, 2.5 ounces. Good cook system. Bic lighter. I may go to a smaller, the smaller lighter just to save weight. And then I just have a like micro fleece towel for, for cleaning. Um, I also use this for condensation for my tent and you know other cleaning things too. So it has a multi-purpose, super lightweight though. Again, I think, and I think it registers on my scale. It's that light. And then I have uh, just the Tokes titanium long-handled spoon uh, with a smooth end on it, and uh, that also is very. Very lightweight. It's 0.7 tenths of an ounce. And then my uh, collapsible cup. 
And this isn't the Cedar Summit. This is something I got from Walmart that I've been using for the last year, but I found that they're the same weight and it's um, big enough for a good size cup of coffee. I didn't even have it all the way out there. So this holds uh, two cups of coffee. I like my coffee, so um, I'm not willing to give this up. 2.1 ounces. Okay, and then as far as my, that's pretty much it for cooking food, uh, and all of this fits inside my pot along with a small fuel container, and then uh, these two items I think I'll probably just put in my front pocket, I'm not sure yet, just so I have them accessible um, during the day if I want them. Okay, and then as far as food storage, um, I got the Light AF uh, Bear Bay Kit. Uh, this is, I like it already. It has a flat bottom to it, so it'll stand up with your food in it. Uh, this is, I think, 2.5 ounces. Um, and it comes with a little uh, bag to put the rocks in to throw over a tree limb. And then it also comes with some, I think, 50 feet of cord and this feels like it's waxed cord um, and it's the thing that's nice about it, it's already got it's already got the knot tied in it I am not the greatest at tying knots even though I keep practicing them uh, I tend to forget them so um, this is gonna make it easy uh, the only knot I'm really gonna have to tie is I forget what you call it already the knot to tie it to, to this bag to throw it, which is, is really simple. So, um, and then it just comes with a little carabiner and it comes with a little stick, which is awesome. And the rope just wraps around these two little clips. So again, that uh, I won't have to tie a knot for that. That works really easy and I don't have to go find a stick. So, so that's my plan for my uh, food storage when I don't have to have a bear canister. I also will be getting one of those odor proof bags to put in here uh, and then I'm going to Find another little sack. I might even use this. I don't have very many Like scented personal hygiene items if I can fit them all in this bag I'll use this one and use it to attach to the outside of this bag when I hear hang my bear bag. If it's not quite big enough, then I will get probably another little one that's lightweight that I can use for my personal hygiene items. And then I have the BV450. Um, so I actually had ordered, I thought I ordered the BV500, um, but when it came it was this one. And when I look back at my order, I did hit the wrong one, but I've decided to keep it. Um, see, you can tell I've already put all my put stickers on it. Um, but you know, I just, uh, for one thing, it's lighter. It's uh, 2.1 ounces instead of 2.7, and it fits in my pack really nicely. So I have the uh, ULV uh, circuit backpack, and this fits in the top really nice and I can put clothes or other items around it and I won't have to attach it to the top of my pack, which I think if I have the BV500, I probably would have to attach it to the top. I'd rather have all my items inside my pack than have things hanging off um, the outside. So, and I tried it out um, as far as putting food in it. And if I, I'm just gonna have to, to really plan on not getting bulky foods during those sections. And I found that I can fit four days, which is what it says it'll hold. I can fit four days worth of food in here. Um, and then for if I need five days worth of food, I don't think I'll need more than that. But if for the fifth day of food, I can put that in my pack um, and use it the first day before I camp out um, where I actually need the bear canister. So during the day, you know, I can bring my breakfast or my snacks and my dinner, and then I'll be down to four days worth of food to put in here by the time I, I go to sleep at night. So, yeah, so that's my plan. Um, my cook system, without, you know, the food storage, uh, my total weight is 
0.75 um, pounds, so it's three quarters of a pound for, for my cook system, which is not bad. I think it's doable. Okay, uh, that's all I have today. Um, I am planning a shakedown hike once I have all my gear. Uh, hopefully for in two weeks. Uh, we're probably going to do some snow camping because that's what we have right now everywhere is snow. So a friend of mine uh, that was in my last video, uh, Maureen, is going to um, go with me and we are going to go do an overnight trip somewhere. Maybe, maybe Lake Angeles where we just went this last one and um, test out all my gear, uh, try out my sleep system and so I will uh, get a little bit more information and details about how all this system works uh, when I when I go on that hike. So, all right, okay. and please, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments uh, or feedback about my system that you see here, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, I left links to my uh, lighter pack. Uh, link and my patreon account and my GoFundMe account uh, are all down below in the description section of this video and I will talk to you soon mm -hmm.